the battles of priest versus mage begins or rather continues because uh we've already made it to this far and they seem to be equally as cringy with their one drops and zero drops and we also reviewed all the other classes of how they feel kind of normal but these ones refuse to play the game altogether now obviously the meta game changes every now and then and uh these ones don't seem dominant right now so that's good i'll take that but anytime mage plays something it's usually just a bunch of secrets and i can't play the game anymore unfortunately or just that and we're gonna dive a little bit deeper we're gonna hit the secrets very soon because we hit two drops three drops a lot more but we don't start the video just yet there's a little bit of twist i want to add I know Warshak has playlists. And if we can use that to see what kind of decks he is building with Mage and Priest. He has a specific class oriented playlist. So we have our Priest decks and Mage decks. Maybe we even have some right, time for a gameplay, make... but I just want to see. Uh, the overall aesthetic of the decks. Yeah, okay, wait. I don't care about this one. Let's watch the first 10 decks. How about that? Uh, we do have to... Whoa, there's no introduction? That's annoying. I don't even know what he's playing then. Now, it, even though we're going to take 10 decks, we're going to go throughout history a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm honestly not sure what he's doing here. At all. What the? This is, oh, this is Priest. Okay, so it's the robot thing? Okay, yeah. Sure. It's, again, it's a very boring one. Cringe, absolutely. Maybe even two points of cringe. I mean, it, it is boring, after all. And then we're gonna go to number 5, number 10. Just dig deeper. Again, we're trying to find out what is more cringe. Should we delete mage or priest? I like to delete both, to be honest. But I prefer deleting mage. Because it, it has been annoying way longer than priest, it feels like. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Priest has enough Borklers to carry it into the cringe lands, you know, into the top of the cringe tower or whatever we're climbing. Next, Stars Align. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty cool. I'll actually, uh, I'll actually appreciate that one. This doesn't seem to be that many Borklers either. It's just a lot of minions. Honestly, I take away two points. Again, P Priest does have some memes, and I do appreciate that shit. A new fun. I remember actually reviewing Rob doing Mage deck. They just like it's an OTK, right? Like it just offloads a bunch of spells, arcane spells to double up, and you can uh, increase spell damage. And he said it's like the most deck, the most fun deck. And I'm like, is it re what? That's just an OTK, bro. This is not fun. OTKs are not fun. I did build a combo deck that's fun. In the previous uh, video. But I got lucky those first two games, it seems. Even though, yeah, I do have like two stars right now. Which is an indication of an actually functional deck. This is actually huge. Having two stars, bro. It's functional, maybe it's missing something, but uh, obviously you have to counter the meta so badly. And it, it's annoying to find the right cards. Um, so we're not going to talk about that. But definitely in the future video. What do we have here? The Hearthrob deck. And this one, or like Overheal. I'm okay with that. This one's like really fun. Uh, 
minus two points of cringe, which is good. We're going down to uh, number 15. So we're going to go down almost half a history of Warshack. The most annoying custom deck. Honest, okay, deck let's see it. What it is. I don't quite understand, but this is one of the control decks, I believe. Zyrella. Alright, let's see the win condition before he swaps the opponent. Is he stuck with Death Knight? Holy shit. Is it Blood Decay? It looks like that. It's disgusting. That's all they played back in the day. That's just one game. <laughs> uh, I mean... I mean, it is just one game. Mm -hmm. And I do see the toxicity, but honestly, he's battling a good, a good fight, bro. I hope he just at least wins, right? All right, good. Play this again. Okay. Okay. You know, if you can ble beat Blood DK, I'm not exactly sure if it, the deck is good or not, or bad. I'm actually not sure. And this is pretty toxic shit. I'll actually give two points of cringe, even though defeating Blood DK with 70 health. I mean, that's a that's a pretty cool achievement. Just I hate Watch both this. decks. So I can play. I guess. Could you? No. I was about to say. Harvester of Envy is pretty cool card. I'm not gonna lie, cause I don't see it very often. But what else happens in this game? Poppycat. This is very much pure uh, Steel Priest. Again? <laughs> and then... Stop taking shark! Shark on line! Shark on line! Get the fuck out of here! I think he stole his win condition. So he was completing the quest, right? You can see here. And then he's just... Uh, Theo, the win condition. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to feel about this. This is kind of weird. Steel Priest. But it's just Theo highlight. I don't care. Let's move on. This one feels boring. Whatever this is. I can't identify it. Which is bad enough, right? 25, now 30. I just saw Zyrella, Silence, the Shard. I am a right? right? Oh, an aggro deck. He was forced to play an aggro deck, which is actually cool. It's very rare when Warshak plays some aggro shit. I might want to see a little bit of that. So, he plays that. He plays silence. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm in. Selfish into whispers. Does it do three damage or does it do seven? It does. Uh, wait, I'm increasing cringe. Oh, my God. I must be reducing cringe. And add tax. Since we're doing up and down calculations, I need these buttons. Boom, boom. All right. I I'm curious to see how this works. This is strictly. This is strictly to see how this works. Will it do seven or does it do three? It does seven? seven? Oh. Fascinating. This is still available. All right, we do have to move on. I'll give four points of reduced cringe in total. Also summoning all the buttons. Let's keep going. Uh, 35. Deeper. Kazakusan is the most disgusting card that I've heard way too many times. I, I think I highlighted something very similar. But all the Borklers and stuff, it's... Dragon Priest. I mean, you're forced. I think it's the nerfed Kazagasa, and now it's confusing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like this. Let's keep going. So much happened. <clears throat> it's one of those uh, spell combo decks with this card being copied and pasted. 
Well, let's just see it once. Now? I technically played it. It's uh, not that crazy. And it's, uh, I don't think it's an OTK version. It's more like just keep generating random spells version. Uh, I guess let's see. Against Quest Hunter. I don't it. This one is so complicated to play that I'm going to reduce one point, but only one. Yeah, in the normal uh, OTK type of scenario, you play like um, Auctioneer. You draw your entire deck and something happens as you do that. Maybe you play Cthulhu? That's some weird shit, man. Mechathun. I don't know, bro. Maybe Jail? I don't... This is old. I can't remember. Well, this is turn 5. And that's how you win a Hearthstone sometimes. Still more interactive than most decks because no TKs are hard, bro. To pull off. Or in this case, I can't call it OTK, it's a combo deck. Like literally, literally in the text, text message. Mess I don't... Okay, there's a lot of Borklers, maybe. It might have been, been the end. This seems like a very, very boring one. Two points of cringe, but we're going up and down. Last one. Oh my terrible god, what thumbnail. is this top cat? Oh, baby, what is... It so, does so... take a year to load uh, anything from the playlist. I want, I want primes, primes, and he and has primes. At the same, the same time, time, I... Um... Still very boring. I want to do, do primes. I want to do primes. Okay, three points of cringe, because uh, now I'm getting bored. Um... All right, let's keep going now. Mage time, and Yo, guys, you can only go down from here, here unfortunately. Really fun, mage. really fun mage. Let's go. What's going on, Marvel Warcheck here? And I have another really fun mage. A lot of mage decks this expansion, to be honest. I don't know what's going on with mage, but we're just... I mean, it's the uh, last moments of mages. It has to be deleted out of cringe overload. This seems kind of like normal, in a way. But I still hate... Most of the shit, it's just it's just stupid. And uh, what is the well? You get the Titan, and I don't like Titans very much. Whatever. I do appreciate him beating up a Paladin. We always want to see that. Sure. Fights. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the cool part. But it has nothing to do with Mage, though. Siege? Does he have two siege? In a way. Just one. No, he didn't just Point easily got one. cleared. It's just Sea Giant meta. Cold case. What? I mean, he's always like very, very late at uploading, and this is old. Instead of late, I would suggest the word delayed. Like, he at least delays seven days, maybe ten days. Just to, you know, line up the videos, but it's still cringe, just, like, just upload when you have it. Like, fucking hell. Because then the videos become irrelevant in a way. You can't even, like, answer to whatever's going on in Hearthstone at the moment. When it comes to gaming, like, you're... Unless you organize your videos, like, your video's gonna go bad really fast. And useless. Are alive? Like, it's so old, this is not even nerfed yet. So, how does he win the game again? Seven. Seven. He's still fighting it. for it? How is he gonna win? Titan? Oh, it's a His titan. last hope, right? So what does it have to be, like, Yogg? Anything. It kind of works. It's kind of cool. Live. Don't lose. Wow. What's our next turn look that like? is crazy. I'll figure it. It stops my lethal. Really? Damn. It is kind of cringe how like simple Paladin is all the time. You just play the fucking auras and all that shit. That's disgusting. 
So in a way, cringe deck meets cringe deck. And I appreciate it. Yo, okay, Skeleton yo, mage is on, actually I fine. I have you a normal Civ mage? Of course you don't. It's a skelly Civ mage. Very desperate, I would say. I already feel the cringe. Tempo skeleton with sieves in there. Still, still, sieve is a win condition, but it's not the only win condition. So what we have here... Yeah, I don't buy it, bro. Just because you have a little bit of skeletons. This is boring. It's our main win condition, and we play a little bit of tempo, blah, 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 whatever. I appreciate the tempo. Cool. We played that, you know what I'm saying? See, that's the problem as well. Like, Mage doesn't even have that many archetypes. We They got the fucking skeletons, and they, they play Cold Case 24-7. <laughs> Just like this one fucking card and a bunch of Discover options. Yeah. They have just like a few good cards now. It's kind of pathetic now. Now Mage is like a, on the lower end, but it looks pathetic. And the only time they got a Borkler, they <laughs> it boosted the win rate so much. Oh my god, bro! It is pathetic. I I look at this deck as absolute garbage because we already saw the skeleton thing. I've seen and it. And now we're gonna see this bullshit. My favorite deck so far is absolute garbage. Big Sally's and stuff. You still see the cold case, you see the all the usual things. Cosmic keyboard. Literally the same thing, just like, oh, instead of stiff, I have Vic Sally's. Wow. So fucking creative. I mean now it's three points of cringe. Now we're escalating because I just wanna like be done with this shit. You have Mech Mage, and it is a little bit cringe. Yep. Alright, that's a good turn four. What the f- That fucking caught me off guard, bro. Looks like a Holy key shit. Key. It was one mana card, into Cosmic Keyboard, into Coin, into Cold Case, into Cold Case. <laughs> Whatever he just said, bro. Whatever he just said, bro. I, I believe he, it's, it was his opponent doing that to him. He's complaining about mage right now while playing mage. You can't make this shit up, bro. <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. Oh, heal card. I mean, this is a little bit cringe. Let's uh, switch the opponent real fast. Two turn fivers. This might actually be a turn sixer here. I know, turn six fucking trash. I know, chat. I have a feeling Pozik is still disgustingly powerful. Ugh, I don't even know how to evaluate this guy. Such a question mark of like... It's definitely the most powerful 4-drop, right? But is it playable all the time? He can play this, yeah, this into is, this that. Is gonna be, I lied. That. Actually, no, e ooh, e ooh, I don't know if I hit enough. Ah, come on, Rob. Why are you fucking boring like that? This, this, that. But technically, this has to come down on the board where there's some mechs. Another mech. Yeah, discovering this shit. Now it, we're getting into cringe territory. Even though I like the deck, but also bragging that you get turn five, turn six ODKs. This is kind of cringe too. Like, yeah, I, I didn't quite like just getting sharked. All the way. No. Oh my god, he made robot voice. I have to remove cringe. No blizzard. We're not gonna get fucked by blizzard. It now, it's so funny because it's a card and a company. And you don't want to be fucked by neither, to be honest, on this turn specifically. I'm kind of interested in like trading into this to play around brawl. What? The fuck? 20 armor? Oh my god. Now things are interesting. I'm stuck in this video. Fucking Naga warrior, bro. Holy shit. Alright, good luck with that. I don't know. Oh look, cosmic keyboard, cold case, and blizzard, and who the fuck knows what the wind condition is supposed to be. <laughs> like Look at that. That kind of mage is being played on. 
Come on, man. It doesn't even have identity, you know, man. It doesn't have anything to do. And he says, like, oh, there's so many mage decks to play. Are you are you sure it's just cold case keyboard mage? Cultus, lupus, popus, dupus. It's very cold case, like there's nothing else to play. You you've seen these cards overplayed so badly for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Two years, man. Broken quest mage, where you just deal stuff into the face and play cold case, of course. Because <laughs> it fits every deck for some reason. You can see now I, I'm reaching like levels of cringe where like there's nothing interesting about mage. Oh look, it's literally the same fucking deck. We have to go now. It's just spells. That was my case of like, please mage, stop existing because the only thing you do is just Vexalis cold case, deal damage to the face, blah blah blah. <laughs> it's an it's just so annoying, bro. The identity didn't change for so long. Losing to the great what is he playing? March of Lich King, bro. It returned. Ah. Okay. Feeling deep the heroes are returned, basically. Hero portraits, so you can play the Lich Gina, but this is still fairly a new thing where you play Cold Case twice, right? It's a fairly new deck, right? Also, a very interesting experiment of like. Should every single location be played? Because there's probably a case for that. Warrior location is very good. Druid location is very good. Should everything, every location be played? So fascinating. There's so many little Hearthstone tests I can make. We're not going to run out of content for next year whatsoever. But even worse, I will be releasing Megabug after all. The card game. And we're gonna enjoy that too, hopefully. Because it's not automated, it's it feels a little bit slow. So I'm not sure what I will do with that. Maybe just make a mini game and go from there. But to make a mini game I have to rearrange the whole system because there's nothing automated about this process. Even clicking the button is like not automated. So I'm not sure when I will start implementing stuff like that. Like, honestly, I appreciate the mech mage, but it was too fast, and these decks are way too slow, and they don't do much. And then you just wait to play the fucking control deck and reset the game. And uh, who knows what happens then, because I don't care, right? Just survivalism, control... My most hated thing. You don't even have a win condition anymore. Visibly. You just play a bunch of skeletons to survive. And solid alibi to survive. Which is kind of cringe. Again, two points of cringe, but not three. So that's good. What? Smooth brain deck? I, I literally see that. What is he doing? Dude, this curse warlock is this literally in a... You could make a pretty good compilation out of all the introductions. But there's so much to do in Hearthstone besides just playing the game. Viciously. First Warlock is the smoothest brain fucking deck, dog. Literally an ape can play this deck. If you're a fucking idiot, you can play that deck to legend. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> I love this shit, man. He makes... Priest in here by accident. That is legendary, bro. Priest <laughs> receives less cringe now. Holy shit, mage is out of control, bro. Literally a cool introduction, but oh, it's it's priest. <laughs> what? How did he mix that? Oh look, it's the cold case mage with solid alibi and Frozen touch and stuff. Look how interesting and varied mage is. We'll definitely not get three points of cringe. And the last one, secret mage. <laughs> Fucking 
No, I, I don't. I don't need to know, bro. I don't need to know. Secret mage is cringe. Literally, you can't make a coldest case for mage to be fucking deleted. There's. <laughs> I mean, they literally shot themselves with that fucking card, didn't they? Oh, cold case. Yes, I have a case for you. It's a lawsuit. You know, mage give me so much brain damage. I want it disappeared. It's a very cold case. But uh, we're gonna reopen it. And, uh, you know, because uh, mage overstated its welcome, unfortunately. It's the stupidest thing. I played against mage so many times against this dawn grasp nonsense. I mean, holy shit, it gives me so much heartache, bro. It's insane. Does he get the. I literally remember like 50% of people played Mage and I played a Quest Hunter. And it was still a 50 50 matchup where they just sling spells and gain armor and play secrets and shit. And there's nothing going on on the board necessarily. It's so pathetic, man. Can we go counters? At least he likes one card in Mage. Which enables secrets, and I don't like it personally. On the, on this side of the board, you, you can sit comfortable with secrets. Of like, ah, what you gonna do? But on the other side of the board, there's a person crying. Okay? I think we win. I think this card single-handedly solos now. And I don't appreciate it, but it is what it is. Blizzard gift card. Alright, Blizzard gift card uh, going into action now looking at the cards hopefully we can finish this off finish this battle but we have to like act really really fucking quick uh, because there's tons and tons of cards tons of history so we looked at that look at this page we have to do crafting blah 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 uh this 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 nothing stands out we looked at most of the stuff in fact this sort of makes me feel like, reducing cringe is cool, but Big Spell Mage was pretty disgusting, and now it's, you know, reminiscent of that. This is fine, I think. Uh, this one's a little bit cringe. It does remind me of, like, stupid ideas. And obviously, Cosmic Keyboard has to be deleted from the game, because I don't like it anymore. Frozen Touch is absolute cancer. Uh, you just push it over and over again, but it actually makes Mage more reasonable because it becomes more minion oriented, and I actually liked playing that. It actually enables a deck that I would want to play. Funny enough. So as cringe as it is, because it enables the deck, it still enables the deck, so yeah. I do like Dormant Creatures, so it's fine, fine, fine. Cadgar was a little bit fucking cringe. Especially in Wild, it seems. Then you have uh, Maxitude, which is actually a little bit too powerful now, I guess? Infinite value. Yeah. That's Mage Identity, alright. They're getting there, you know? I can't wait for, like, Mini Set, because we're gonna review the entire standard set. Or the new expansion, rather. I can't wait, man. When? Mini said, please. Zeddy always knows. Your next fire spell is ass. Blah, blah, blah. I haven't even seen this card. This one's a little bit crazy in Arena. Even Crip was complaining about it, I believe. So it's a, a, an old one. On Goro thing. Everything else, fine. This one's a little bit cringe, I don't know. Because I see it too often. I'll give uh, five points of that. Mana suck, fine, completely fine, blah blah blah. I don't see anything. Also, we have rewind, I have to remove three points. But technically I can't because fucking mage is gonna, like, remove itself and remove rewind with it. Like, what the fuck is that? It's gonna be a pretty interesting thing that happens. I'm, I'm already prepared of deletion of mage. Whatever happens, I will just pretend that it doesn't exist anymore. Because I will never play it. This stupid class. 
And still, Portal is actually quite iconic to me. Two points away. It reminds me of Tavern Brawls and stuff. Am I missing anything here? No, 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 no. Keep going. We're gonna switch every single mana crystal. Uh, sure, Trick Totem's fine, I guess. It's school cards. Everything seems clean here. Volcano Mancer, a little bit cringe, but I am okay with that shit. What scripture is getting into cringe territory? Double Discover is a little bit cringe, because what? Why do you allow six options for your uh, uh, fucking smooth brain uh, players? Are you kidding me, dude? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's fine. Technically, this stuff is actually quite interesting because it's still an existing standard, I believe. Or maybe just the legendary. I never got to play it, to be honest, because I don't play mage. Because it's all just spells oriented, anyways, whatever. The secret's actually pretty cringe simply because it's so weak, but we don't. Or maybe we do. We do. It's. We were gonna be talking about secrets, that means we're at number three. Aha, uh -huh, mana three. We switch to the priest. Which is only separated by Paladin. Thank you, Paladin. Don't let Priest be a part of this nonsense. Mana number three. Or no, number two. Uh, we're, come on, mana. Are you serious right now? It's fucking around with me. Okay, so, um, healing effects deal damage instead. Blah, blah, blah. We kind of looked at this a little bit. This one. I'll give Fanboy minus one cringe because I love the card. Um, embrace a little bit cringe. Divine Spirits. I think we already touched it, but I'll give plus one one more time. Um, everything else, fine. It's all fine. Fine and dandy. I, I was not burnt out of any cards. This seems completely fine. If it's completely clean, I probably like remove one cringe point because it's super cool. Holy Ripple, still pretty fine as a Borkler. I'm okay with that. Minus one cringe, it's clean. Um, probably just to offset, I'll give Mage minus three cringe because maybe there was a clean page every now and then. Clean, 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 super clean. This one a little bit too much on the nose at this point with the undead package. Mind Eater as well. What a vibe, dude. I don't like that. Mind Blast a little bit cringe as well with the OTK potential. Rated Elemental, the biggest cringe in the universe. My five points, it's still not nerfed. What the fuck are these guys thinking? Uh, fine, 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 fine. Like, you, you can see the difference between a fucking cringe card. Obviously, Purify was kind of weird. It, it created a very interesting uh, side quest of watching Ben Brode's videos all of a sudden. That was pretty weird. I mean, this was like the farewell of Ben Brode. Like, after Ben Brode made these videos and made a, a few appearances here and there, he just left the company too much pressure or something i would imagine i don't i don't know to be honest but he made snap so fuck yeah let's go he is not Raynad, you know it's one of those guys that makes stuff actually he's one of those old dudes so uh resurrect blah 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 shadow visions a little bit too much of that shit three cringe points um uh, resurrect is actually pretty cute it's pretty old as well right it's black rock mountain i feel like Resur like resurrect never feels like bad i play that shit it's it's so funny to me this feels bad unfortunately it's a pretty strong tempo card i've seen it too often now and it can synergize itself yeah Pretty lesbian to me. Or we should just say gay, but so hard, man. I actually like the flavor of the card. This is kind of cool. Use a minion, add a copy to your hand. 
Get some cool stuff. Maybe offset it by death. I'll just skip. Mm-hmm. When I say offset, I gain a one point, minus one point, or just contemplate. Um, pain is fine. It used to be pretty annoying because it was played for a very long time. Uh, destroy a four attack minion. It's uh, absolute cringe. This is caverns of time. It doesn't really count because nobody plays twist anyways. Shadow form. A little bit cringe, but I kind of like the idea because it's still in Legacy. You can still play this. It's kind of cute. I mean, this is one way to get the fucking hero power without much of a, uh, you know, pay. And I'm like, shit. Well, you can play the... Honestly, I'll remove one cringe for that. I like the idea of having shadow form. And, uh... It gets even better, but it doesn't say that you can upgrade your shadow form, right? You can still do that, please. Please, Blizzard. Shadow Boxer was super cool. I love the card as well. You can see, like, Priest actually has stuff. You know? Has stuff, like... Like, the cool stuff. It's one of the earliest uh, knife juggler upgrades, in a way. But not exactly. At the same time, like to actually enable this card, you have to do a lot of work. Shrinkmeister, Blobble. Actually, Shrinkmeister is a super cool card. I, I still appreciate because it's not being overplayed and it's like really cool. Okay, Warshag gets the fuck out of the board. Nerfed and deleted. Squashling, I actually like the card as well. Wow, there's so many fucking sweet cards now. Spirit Lash is fine, but it can reset the game, so I'll give fucking three points of cringe. It actually is not fine. Uh, this card is a little bit cringe. Thought still is still in here. Okay, that's cool. I'll give one. Not not a fan, but it's fine. This is a little bit cringe. It's getting out of control for me, but it's a rogue card. It's not actually a priest card, unfortunately. So I cannot read it as such. What else do we have? Uh, this one's a little bit cringe. The the Dragon Priest is kind of stupid idea. We're going to get into a disgusting territory here. Let's not touch too many 3-drop cards. But yeah, this one's... This one's so fucking annoying simply because they constantly just shuffle it into the deck and just summon a bunch of crap as a win condition. Like, I don't fucking like this idea of the way this card is designed. It's so weird, like, we don't actually get to vote for, like, whether we like cards or not. Like, this would be such a good pastime to just discuss cards that we like or not, or submit cards to Blizzard um, to change, to rework, because stuff like this is kind of, like, super cringe, not gonna lie. Um, especially, like, with the Ice Block and other nerfable cards as well. Like, just rework, please. Please, just change the way it works. We're gonna vote. It's like Brexit, you know, like we're just gonna vote and like decide that we don't want the fucking card to exist at all in a way that it does. Maybe in some fucking legacy format, so to speak, yep. Just rework. You have space for that for sure. Anyways, holding a dragon. Maybe I've seen this card a little bit too much, but I'm okay with that. This is fine. Uh, it's, it's just plus one health, guys. <laughs> But it's still annoying with the taunt and everything. Still annoying how it was like a tempo deck and stuff. All right, so we switch back to the mage number three. Holy shit, we're slow as fuck, man. I am disappointed in my ability to narrate our adventure. Cinderstorm's a little bit cringe for some reason. It was powerful, but I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna see that way. Invala, a little bit weird. Build a snowman. Hmm. Mm. It is a meme after all. The frozen meme. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't really like the card, but it's kind of fine. It used to be a legendary, by the way, guys. It used to be that elemental legendary. Now it's just a card. 
And then Elemental Legendary got buffed, apparently, for some reason. But not brought back to the game, even though we're playing Elemental Mage. They don't even know what they're doing. I guess this is sort of fine. Obviously, Conjurer's Calling is like plus five. Because holy shit, what the fuck is this card? Combustion. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. Kind of called, we can put one because freezing effects are annoying. Mm, I think that's it. No, it's, it's fine, whatever. This one's actually pretty cute. I'll give minus one. Maybe this one's cute. Is this one playable right now? Lich King. Yeah. I kind of want to play stuff like this. Minus two. Because that one actually is inspiring. Your opponent costs more. Like, what? That is just cringe because like, what the fuck is, are you trying to do here? Seriously? Um, Counterspell, obviously most of the secrets are cringe. But mostly Counterspell, just the existence of it, makes it pretty fucking hard to play around secrets. Flame Ward was also pretty cringe. Flame Waker was super duper cringe. Four points for that one. What a lol moment. Firebrand was actually super cool. I liked it. But uh, it's it's pretty fast as a tempo card. Cross mm, Noah, fuck, fuck that shit. Holy shit, man. Most of the massive freeze effects are insane. This is still available for people to play with. Luckily, again, Mage doesn't play tempo. But if it did, you will see most of the freeze effects appear all of a sudden. So it is what it is. Ice block is like a 10. For most people. Most people agree. If not more. So, uh... If not more than most. You know what I'm talking... And more than agree. Ice Barrier is a little bit weird now. It's like overplayed. But I guess it's fine. Um, There's some play around. It's, it's kind of okay. This one's a little bit cringe. A little bit powerful as a Borkler. Fucking two points. I do like dormant creatures, but this one is a little bit too much for me. A Hollow Technician is also pretty weird. I don't like it. But whatever. Light Show, the first time I saw it, it's like, fuck this card. But yeah, you do have to just play it over and over and over and over and over again to win. And it's still in standard. Nobody fucking plays Light Show Mage, which is unbelievable cringe, but not in the way that I thought it would be. You know, I thought it would be cringe because this card is going to be overplayed, but it's actually underplayed and it's too slow, of course. I didn't thought about that, to be honest, because I didn't thought the game just ends at turn 7 or whatever. Well, is what it is, I guess. Really sad now, actually. Because it's an, a more normal card than Mecha Shark in a way. But yeah, Mecha Shark is way better in that sense, and it's absolute cringe. Haha. <laughs> wow, so many three drops we have. We probably won't be able to finish this. I can already see. So we I'll just gonna ignore the cards that I don't recognize immediately. Molten Rune is a little bit cringe. It seems pretty powerful. Like I don't I don't like it. Also, do it twice with spell damage, like what? Sanctum I've seen way too many times, it's so annoying at this point. And it had to be nerfed, so of course that has to be taken into account. Objection is the cringiest secret of all time. Six points, I fucking hate this thing. Holy shit. Ocean of Polymorph gives a similar vibe, it seems. But at least you get the fucking battle cry, which is all that matters. You know, you don't think of like... Going to court and giving cold cases. The mage. The objection is not gonna fucking make me disappear, okay, mage? Go fuck yourself. It, it will make you disappear. Look at the cringe levels now. We have reached a level where we doubled the stats of mage. Of Are you kidding me, bro? I hate it. 
so much. Oasis ally, when your friendly minion is attacked, you can get you get to attack when it's, it's fucking stupid. I hate playing around secrets. Most secrets are just absolute insanities, bro. Polymorph is fine, whatever. Solid alibi is absolute cringe, got to be nerfed, apparently. And now it's fine, uh, apparently, at three mana. Reverber reverberations has been complained about, and I do understand why. But uh, there's plenty of more things to complain about. Seafloor Gateway is probably a little bit too powerful, but it enables the deck, so I understand. I thought this was going to be powerful, but apparently not. But I don't know about that, to be honest. If you can just keep on pumping fucking Borklers, especially against Paladin, this could just counter the entire deck. So, I guess not cringe, but... Surprisingly. That's weird. It's just a cool tech card, then. I don't know. What else do you do? You, you plug this in and you just... Keep on spamming fucking discover effects and one one drop spells like why don't you put this in the deck, right? Like there's no space for that. Too many board what I don't understand this guys. This was played for fuck's sake. Volcanic potion was played. And as cringe as they are, like it's fine. Uh, Wenchful Visage is pretty weird one. I don't like it. I don't like pulling around it, to be honest. But it's not the end of the world. Spell Dependor is actually one of the coolest secrets, I think. Because you, know, you just like when it happens, even if it's like bad. It's just like, oh, it's Spellbender is the, is the cool one that nobody plays, you know? Uh... And then Stargazer Luna, I guess it's fine. I'm not gonna complain. And that's that. Now we go to Priest 3. Yeah, I guess... I guess we haven't finished that, but it's now doubled. Excuse me, Princess. Uh, this is a pretty solid lawsuit, I, I would believe. We're doing... This had to be buffed. So it's a little bit cringe that it had to be changed in general. Next, next, next. Okay, now, now we have to slow down because there's not a lot of cringe going on. Unfortunately for us. I feel like this is completely normal, all of this. Maybe this is powerful, but like, it's fine. It's fine, like, the tempo package, the first few turns of Freeze doesn't feel like absolute nonsense. This one is a bit fucking strong. It has been played for sure. Uh, this one has been nerfed, even. I'll give four in total. Uh, Dragon Souls also pretty fucking weird. You do spam spells. Get free dragons. Jesus Christ, man. And I think the Induels is also very prevalent. This thing. Uh, okay, fine, fine. This one's a little bit overplayed as well in combos. Uh, funny enough. You get coin, that's cool. Overplayed as well. Draw three cards. Still pretty good, apparently, in this game. Drawing cards like that. In the next video, maybe I will visit some, like, uh, Trump and see what he was up to with Mage and Priest, respectively. You know, because uh, we saw Warshak, and Warshak did not impress me, to be honest, with his uh, variety. But maybe Trump did something. And we, we're going to dig into the past a little bit. It's fun like that. Heartthrob is like fucking cool cards. Minus two points. It's awesome. Holy Nova, seemingly fine. I don't like Borklers, though. And it probably haunted me a little bit more than I like to admit. Identity theft haunts me a little bit. Everything else seems fine. 
the identity theft looking into my hands love everlasting is very fucking powerful as uh, zeddy suggests so i don't like it um okay we saw this bad boy doing some work copy this was nerfed five points i'll give for that with this whole thing this is also a bit cringe I think that's fine. I do love Light Spawn. It's an amazing card. And you can see, like, it requires minions to interact for the game to be fun. And, like, Mage doesn't have any of that. But it does have Cold Case. Every now and then, am I right? Too bad, little bitch. It's rotating. It's no longer cold, I believe. Even Objection, I think, it's rotating. Like, all that shit. Oh my god. What is Mage gonna do? Go back to the bottom of the barrel now. Holy shit. Well, that was a thing. <laughs> Sci friends. Look, it's a little tiny shard thing. I don't know, bro. These are a little bit cringe, though. Even that one's weird. This one's cringe because it's what's weak. But somewhat playable. I I honestly laughed at this one. So can't, can't complain. I just laughed at it. it. It's like unplayable, but like minus two, minus two in Elder Scrolls Legends is like an okay card. Yes. <laughs> the power creep, bro. Just straight up three mana removal is sucks, bro. In this game. Um, I'll give these guys 4 each. Maybe even Pip deserves it, but I have never seen it, so I can't complain that much. Oh, the biggest cringe of them all. But at the same time, it's kind of like meme card. Just one card, though. Not much to complain about. This is... Fucking first aura effect... <laughs> Fuck you, priest, with your stupid aura. Why did you whisper that to Paladin? Your buddy old pal. Such cringe, man. Illegal, even. Shadow Madness is actually a super cool card. It still exists, so, uh, because of its coolness. I almost don't want, like, would want to try it out right now. This is so much fucking cringe. I hate this card already. Keep for summoning. Somehow I didn't give resummoning undead or giving them reborn cringe. I'm not sure if this is good enough. I've never seen it being played. Funny enough. Stars Align just makes me super happy. Minus two points. I actually want to see this being played. It feels like the dragon thing. Uh... You know, the dragon transformation of your deck. Again, Harvest and Envy seems actually like a cool card. Doesn't seem that crazy. You just steal a card, bro. And it just probably has like some crazy interactions with some of everything else. Probably nothing too ridiculous. Switcheroo was nerfed. Of course, but it's not like that crazy of a card. And it's still playable now. So that's nice, at least they didn't have to... ...do a ban. In a wild, which they did. I guess that's pretty cringe, too. Of how this, like, such a simple design can break the game, still. What? Bones Chosen, a little bit overplayed. It has rotated to nothingness. That's it. I don't know if this was used ever. I know this was used to create a boar OTK or some bullshit like that. I don't know. It's, it seems fine. We can still do four. Alright. 
Obviously, Cold Case is the best card ever, and we're giving bonus points for that. Holy shit. Kabbalist Toma. A little bit fucking stupid in Arena, I guess. Um, I don't necessarily like a card like this. This is this is a weird one. Stavara has been overplayed too many times. And then I guess I'm okay with this. Because it's goddamn expensive. It's a little bit different from the fucking Excavate uh, nonsense on turn 4. I'll give 3 points on top of everything. Um, excuse me? What is that? Why is that like that? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, anyways. Echo of Mediv. It's fine. A little bit cringe with the secrets. Staying on the board and just being 5-5 five, five and then 7-7, seven, seven, bro. But only in the past. No, it doesn't even matter. How much stats you have. Blast Mage. I'll take one for the team, bro. Because uh, Mech Mage was okay. And it lasted a little bit, but it returned and now it's cringe. Cost of unit had to be uh, nerfed. Not the worst thing to deal with. But any mana reduction is weird. Honestly, it's almost like... Actually, fucking Fireball is cringe. I had enough of that shit. I just... I'm, I'm done with a fucking Fireball, bro. Okay, I'm not gonna touch this card because it's uh, Warshak's favorite, I guess. Reflections. Something about it feels cringe. What the fuck? I don't know. Can't remember. I guess you pass. Kazaka seems a little bit weird. Overall, I don't care. This one seems fine. It's all spell damage oriented so often. Here comes my fucking ultra giga cringe secret thing. I don't want to play around. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I don't want to know how to play around secrets. Like, you need a PhD of secrets. Obviously, that's disgusting cringe of uh, Borkler. When we talked about Priest, I didn't even saw Borklers in turn 3 that much. So that's fun. Potion of Illusion. Uh, it seems like a little bit of cringe. So, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all of this is fine. Like, this is not even a payoff. Your opponent just plays a counter card. It's called a uh, uh, Borgler. Mm. Very interesting name. Sources Apprentice super duper ultra cringe because now it looks like shit and it looked like garbage and the actual problem is more like... Um, Infinite spells, infinite fireballs. How about that? It's like, what? What is the problem with this card, right? If not Antonidas. I don't even know what else you'd do with this card. Like, what the fuck? I don't even understand, bro. Like, just, just to hide this, we have to delete mage. For sure. Um, tier reality, that's kind of cool. The Wex Crow is kind of cool. Maybe I'll reduce two points. Draw repeats. Okay, sure. We have this and nobody plays this. We have this and nobody plays this for some reason, even though it's a cool card. Don't grasp and go fuck, fucking die in hell. That's how much I hate it. Water Ellie is actually kind of cool card. No big deal. 
whatever, whatever. This one's a bit cringe, a bit powerful. Yeah, no, that's it. Even by the time it came out, it came out fucking skull immense. Because the, the worms are annoying. They might have been nerfed at that time. To one twos, I don't know. Or unnerfed all of a sudden. It's so hard to tell. How can I sort of soul priest? There's been a Borkler. That's so weird. Even like four damage Borkler. Cannon Elabilizes. Annoying can reset the game. Probably two points. This is annoying. Four points. Okay, we're we're heading off a wrong foot here. Everything else is fine. I almost like like this card simply because. Damn, right? Why is that not being played? Even I'm scared of playing this. Because it has 3-4 stats and you have to finale. It's so difficult and you have to have a minion on board. Fuck yeah, let's go. Good card. If it's uh, even unplayable even for me. But I really want to play it when I look at it, bro. It's just like tempo decks are crap. It seems like... Blah, blah, blah. This one's sweet, too. Uh, fuck the Borklers, of course. I don't like that. Mm, not sure if this was disgusting, but it is what it is. Obviously, Operative was a little bit disgusting. Just a little bit. Stealing your win condition, but, well, at least copying it. That's fine. This is kind of cool card. Not many people played it. I love a fight over me a lot. I remove one point. This is an awesome card. Oh, this is a disgusting one, but it only worked for Paladin. Priest didn't actually use this. Funny enough, but he used that one. And that one sucks both. Four points for that one. Holy shit, it's an annoying one. You summon giant minions, basically, or sticky. Grave Ruins, same problem. Very sticky minions, very annoying to deal with. It does enable some tempo strategies, but whatever. That's not what it was used for, I don't think. It was used for fucking death rattle strategies. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get to some like really annoying stuff from control archetypes. Use a minion until it dies. This is annoying. Probably three, even. Three points for that one. It's a Borkler, technically. Technically, that's a Borkler, but because it has such so many requirements, I'll just make it pass. It has a one point of cringe. Hey, look, it's a unicorn. Healing effects also give stuff. It's the first fucking overheal. Let's go. Technically. Fucking unicorn priest. We have it now. We, we might need to build a unicorn priest now. Holy shit. Even though this is unplayable, but that's the, the vibe, you know? Okay. Take control. A little bit cringe. I don't like this necessarily. Obviously a little bit weird to have infinite value. Journey to Ngoro and had to be buffed from 5 mana to 4. Okay. Serenity, I use it pretty often. I still have to give a couple of cringe points because it's pretty powerful. This one's annoying, of course. This one's enabled the deck. Priest of the Feast is actually a super cool card. Healing and stuff for every spell you cast, like, why not? I appreciate that shit. I appreciate when minions do stuff over time. I, I can't blame them. Because I can just kill them next turn or whatever. So the only thing it does is basically heals you for six, but you feel better than just, like, when the text just says, Oh, heal for six, your hero heals for six. Uh, come on. <laughs> so cool, right? You feel like, oh, this is going to survive one more turn and we're going to eat more funnel cakes. Oh, look, it's the Void Shards. The Shards. I actually didn't like this card, but Zyrella is such a cancer card. 
Four points for that stupid card, man. Holy shit. So yeah, the four drops. Now we're getting into territory of Priest being a little bitch. Uh, ruin. Annoying. This is also annoying. Maybe four more points. Why are you catching up, bro? This is not a race. Relax, bro. This is kind of cringe that these are, like, unplayable. I don't like that part. Read spell in your hand, damage one. Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh... I feel like, you know, there were better things than that, but... Mm. It's probably just, like, four damage. Still looks cool. I'll make it pass. This one's a bit cringe because it's a shitty legendary. Okay, so... Two points. For unplayability. That's about it. We're done with the video. We're done with four drops, three drops, and two drops. And next episode, I promised Trump to show up. And show his decks of Mage and Priest. So stay tuned for that because the, the case is not yet over. And it's very hot. And uh, not whatever mage is trying to gaslight you with. Because it should be pretty much deleted. Alright. Where? What is the percentage points? How much mage is ahead of priest right now? 25%. Yeah, I think that's pretty bad still. It's not double. And it's getting close. So... We're still on the edge of our seats, I guess. See you guys next time.